Measurement management starts with a data collection methodology. When collecting data, a cost-efficient and effective discipline needs to be followed. Data collection is expensive and can be time-consuming, so teams should only collect data once during their project. In the measure phase, when we talk about collecting data, we are collecting it to both establish a baseline performance in your measure phase and also to gather data on the X factors. This influences performance so that you may analyze this data in your analyze phase and determine your root causes. The first step in collecting data is having a clear and well-defined operational definition. The operational definition is the foundation of your data measurement plan. Operational definitions help guide the team's thinking on what needs to be measured and how to collect that data. It helps to ensure that all persons using the agreed-upon definition will be measuring the same thing the same way. Operational definitions provide everyone with the same meaning and ensure that consistency and reliability are built in up front before data collection begins. The definitions describe the scope of the measure, not only what is included, but what is not included as well. Operational definitions help to determine both the Y metric and any X factors. It is imperative that definitions are tested and retested before data collection begins, so you get it right the first time and your team will only do data collection once. For example, your team may need to decide if cycle time includes weekends or only business days. How will you be consistent in collecting this data? Should you count all the defects in a purchase order or just the total number of defective purchase orders? Each of these cases would require very different approaches to gathering data and would generate different sigma levels. Determining current process performance usually requires the collection of data. When developing a measurement plan, ensure that the data collected are meaningful and valid and all relevant data are collected concurrently. There are two main types of data, continuous or variable data and discrete, categorical, or attribute data. Continuous data is data that is measured on a continuum or a scale, such as dollars, time, and distance. Discrete data is data that can only take on a unique set of values, such as counting errors, pass-fail, yes-no, or days of the week. Here are some rules of thumb to keep in mind as you are planning data collection. Continuous data requires less data to draw trends and to make conclusions. Only about 30 to 50 data points are needed if you have continuous data. Additionally, there are significantly more statistical tests and analysis that can be performed with continuous data. If you have discrete data, you need many more data points to draw conclusions and show trends. At least 100 data points are required for discrete data collection and sometimes 200 to 300 is even better. Discrete data also has a smaller pool of statistical tests and analysis that can be performed. When planning your project, it is important to have your Y metric be continuous rather than discrete as you need less data and will have more analytical tools available to run. Before developing your data measure 
management plan, your team should answer key questions around the overall logistics for collecting data, including 1. What precise data will be collected? 2. Do we analyze all relevant data or a sample? 3. What tools are necessary? 4. What logistical issues are relevant? 5. What do we want to do with the data? Ultimately, you and your team will think through how you would want your data laid out and displayed in Excel for analysis.